Welcome back, guys, to our playthrough of Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands. So the sandstorm is rolling in, and things are not looking good. Uh, Malik has uh, turned into that monster, Rashta, or Shada, I don't know, whatever. That giant gin like beast thing, whatever it is. Um, but anyway, we're going to try and track him down and see if we can try and help, but things are not, uh, not really going our way right now. Nice. Oh, knocked him off. That was sweet. I really do love a lot of the mechanics that we're experiencing in this. I have been trying to play some newer games on the side and the things that I'm recording for future playthroughs and following on, on kind of the news of new games. And I gotta say, while some of that stuff looks promising and is okay, uh, I'm having a lot more fun with this game. Like I mentioned before that I beat Dying Light 2, and I don't know, I just don't think that game has a fun factor like this game does. But it's a very different genre, so it's kind of hard to compare. Oh shit. This is a boss. Guards are still alive. Here, oh wow. Unless, oh god. So much for that. Ah, so much for that. It's come to this. Oh god. Okay, so we fought we fought the monster before. And now it looks like Wow, he's does it he takes a lot less or a lot uh he has a lot more health. But the com the concept is still the same. We're able to avoid him really easy. Oh crap, he's got something else going on. Is that creating enemies? Oh crap, I forgot about that. The stomp. I don't know if the stomp is doing anything, or uh, the ice attack is doing anything to Malik. Oh, and it takes down the enemies, too. Okay, let's get the now. Just do that as a knockback to keep the enemies away. Can't let this happen. The situation really sucks. The prince has gone through so much trauma, and this is technically the second game in the series as it takes place between Sands of Time and The Warrior Within. So we know that things go worse for the prince down the road, but man, it, it just sucks. That's the part that's annoying. He goes for the the, the stabbing motion to, to kill them. The enemies on the ground, but... Not trying to do that. Oh, boy. I mean, we did fairly well. And the fight barely took any damage from him, but... Damn, dude. It's not human. Of course it's not. We knew that already. Nice, we got an upgrade available. Okay, I do really like the... Uh, what is this? This is the Ice Blast. That's not bad, but I do like the Whirlwind. Whirlwind. That one's really cool. We'll have to play around with the Fire one, but right now... Good with the other tags for the time. We haven't gotten the Jin Sword yet either, and I was just thinking, like, we can't be at the end of the game yet. Taking on Malik in multiple stages, that just doesn't make sense. Oh, 
but we need to get that sword. I'm not sure how much longer the game is. I hope it's a bit longer. I'm having a really good time with this one. Oh, we're going back for the fight. He's not hard to dodge at all, but... I feel like this is kind of how a fight would actually go with the giant like this. He'd probably just run between his legs and just slash his ankles and try to get that Achilles, you know? Oh, crap. Uh-oh. Oh, there's a cutscene. Just trying to do a dive roll and it asked me that instead. I wonder if I could have taken all of his health down. Two rounds with him almost took him out and we got knocked to the ground. Razi was right. I couldn't save him. I keep forgetting the name of this villainous djinn. Or creature that's taken over. He's not technically a djinn. He's something else, right? Razi... The entrance to the djinn city. Yeah, Razi is a djinn. And whatever Malika's become, it's something else. Okay, let's go ahead and break these open. How do we get how do we get to the Jin City? Aren't we like still in the fortress? I don't understand. I'm lost. How did we get here? What was the bit? I know that we were we were planning to come here. But how is this the entrance to the Jin City? Well, that was really freaking close. I guess he is finding those water portals to Razia, but still. Oh shit, oops. Uh, yeah, I should have thought about it. Oh, idiot. This is gonna suck. Okay. All right. Let's try that again and not uh, get our asses kicked by these blades. Okay. That's what I I tried to grab that. I don't know why they didn't work before. What the hell? I can't believe I made it through. I'm starting to think the gym didn't want visitors. So cool. Oh, you bitch. Let's wait for that. Slide down. There we go. I started the run too early. We got here. Is this the entrance to the Jin City? I don't see how. Is it? Is that entrance like? Is the fortress do do? slash palace built around that? We're in a fortress, right? Not a palace. What is that? Oh boy. Okay. 
break all the vases and then look around for a way to climb upward. Man, I really want a new Prince of Persia game so bad. I think there was something over here with this statue, right? What do we have over here? I know I see the switch, obviously, or the lever. What the hell? Oh, I guess there's more than one. Okay, that's fine. Oh, okay. No, I didn't want to go that direction. Go forward. Gotta admit it. Persian engineering is incredible. Especially considering it's all made of stone. Is there another switch or another thingy my thing? Let's see if there's a way. Just keep turning. Okay, so there's gotta be something else. Oh wait, the water. Of course. That's the trick. Let's do that first. There it is. Okay. I was just going the wrong direction. That was stupid. Should have figured that out immediately. That was very obvious. I'm gonna wait for that time thing to go all the way up. Concept here. No, oh, it's not going to work. There we go. Now it should work. Falling down like dominoes. Who builds these things? <laughs> That's, I, I'm so glad he finally asked that question because that was like. Something I've been thinking about a lot. Who the hell builds these things? It's never addressed, it's never talked about, it's just accepted that this is just some really wild engineering thing going on. And I just don't understand why that was never something that he was like, huh, this is a little crazy. Can I? Let's do this. Oh, okay. I kind of had the right idea, actually. Man, his shoes. Getting ripped apart, huh? Yeah, I started that way too early. Oh, you dumbass. I didn't, the depth perception was so off for me there. Can't make that mistake again. I have no more timing things. I gotta be perfect from this point forward. Oh shit. So much for that. That was real close. This isn't so difficult. Yeah, you say that, but. Oh shit. Okay.
Yeah, I had no I have no way to rewind that. I saw it and then I was like, I can't rewind it. Make that over with. So we only have just the two. And there's no other vases that I can crack to get a little more rewind ability here. It's annoying. Let's re review the area a little bit more just in case there's any that I missed. None, 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 none. All right, well, time to be a pro gamer. Hmm. Nothing. I grabbed them all and I wasted them. That's stupid. Oh boy. Hug the edge, baby. This one go to the flat part. There we go. <sighs> That's really cutting it close, honestly. Okay. This isn't so difficult. Once I see that spot, I gotta see this here. Gotta be. Oh shit. If there was an enemy there that I could like teleport to. Make it easier. Oh. Yeah, might have warned me about that. Because if I were a thousand years old, I'd forget things too. Like giant collapsing staircases that could kill people. <laughs> Can't say the writing is perfect, but it's mostly pretty good. Oh, I didn't know it was going to happen. Oh, shit. Should have expected that. And that as well. I did see that one coming. Oh, that was a close one. My butt parked on that one. Damn it. This is a hard one. Shit. Better give me health at the end of this. The spikes coming out of the ground and this. I'm in really bad shape. No bonds of health to save me now. I only have one rewind for this. I gotta make this perfect. Oh shit. That was close as hell. Oh, thank God. Jesus. You could have warned me the stairs were dangerous. <laughs> they collapsed under my feet. I am sorry. The city has been abandoned for many centuries. I have been here so long, I did not think of it. Is there anything else you haven't thought of? Like perhaps a way for me to save my brother? You tried to stop him, didn't you? Despite what I said. Of course I did. Then you know I told you the truth. Your brother is gone. I know he is not himself, but that he cannot be saved. How can I trust what you say? I know nothing about you. I know very little about you either, son of Sharaman, brother of Malik. And yet I must trust you to end what your brother has started. Why do you care? You're one of the Jinn. Your kind are all but immortal. Ratash was once one of my own people. If we do not succeed here, he will destroy everything I have ever cared about, and the things I have sworn to protect, including this kingdom. Why do you need me? Why not do it yourself? I have my part to play. And what is that? Do you truly not trust me? Just to be hot, I guess. Are you simply angry because you know what must be done, and are afraid to face it? When I was younger, my father was often away at war. It was Malik who first taught me to hold a sword. How can I fight him? It is not your brother that you fight. It is Ratash. I know that. It doesn't make things any easier. So is Malik actually dead? Right. Ratash and his army must be stopped. 
Tell me what I need to do. The city is in ruins. You will not pass through it on your own. I have given you my memories of this place. They will help you see the city as it once was. Go on. I will meet you at the temple. How about uh, a little health first, maybe? Are the vases in shape yet? No, they're still busted from the last time I did that. Yeah, those are busted too. Son of a... You know, the least she could do is heal me while I'm here. I'm sitting here blinking red. There's gotta be... What do you call a piece of the environment? Oh, there's a little bit of something. Not much, but it's a start. Alright. Oh, wait, there's a little more. Sweet. Grab that. All right, nah, that's okay. We'll live with this. All right, I think it's a good point for us to stop. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands. We'll continue with more of that tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time right here on the Mark 9 channel. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to show your love by hitting the like button. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. Any feedback for me, leave it in the comments section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, do not forget to take a look at the description box. There's some links there that might be of interest to you. One of which is a link to the Mark and I Community Discord server. If you want to be a part of that group, you can chat with me directly. There's also a link to geekoutpost.com, an entertainment and media site that I own, operate, run, manage, design, and write for. It's a great place to stay up to date on the latest entertainment and gaming news reviews and rumors if you're into that kind of thing. Otherwise, just know I appreciate your time and hope to see you when we continue with more Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands. All right, guys, that's it for me. Take care, be well. I'll see you later.